This year, more than ever, we need to celebrate the Feast of Christmas. God with us, Emmanuel. Our God gave us a message of hope to us and to our world. He came that we might have life and have it to the full. Christ is our hope. We've many reminders that this year's Christmas is going to be different. We are marking it in a new and changed world, a changed society, a fragile community, and in homes that are different. Since the pandemic began, people have been making extraordinary sacrifices to support the community and support and help one another. Many people have had to change their lives and go back to the drawing board. Some people's lives have been irreversibly changed through the loss of a loved one and the circumstances of that death and the funeral. We have found ourselves reflecting more and more and refocusing on our priorities. We are more aware of our vulnerability. These months have challenged us to focus on what's really important. As we continue to live through this pandemic, how can we live this Christmas 2020? I'd like to suggest three foundation stones which we could focus on this Christmas and that might help us as we go forward with hope into 2021. These stepping stones are family, friends and faith. In this third short video, I'm going to look at faith. The pandemic has forced us to ask questions about our faith and how we live our faith in these pandemic times. Given that the Eucharist is the source and summit of our faith, not being able to gather for Mass over many months or when we could gather with very restricted numbers has been really, really difficult. This Eucharistic fast is an opportunity to ask ourselves what other ways can we meet Christ? Can we mark Sunday, the Lord's Day, as a special day? When we view the parish webcam or the TV Mass, can we make a bit of time to quieten, to light a candle, perhaps place a favourite icon, to gather the family together, and perhaps to dress as we would as if we were going to church, ways of preparing ourselves to welcome Jesus in spiritual communion. When we turn into the Sunday readings in our Missal or online, take a few moments to pray and reflect on God's Word. When we build sacred moments into our lives, they become routine and supportive, encouraging our children in morning and night prayers, praying the Angelus, praying a decade of the Rosary as we make a car journey, making a prayer of thanks for a beautiful day, blessing ourselves with holy water as we leave the house. The COVID pandemic has helped many people to slow down and to reflect on the beauty and the fragility of all that God has created for us. Have you had time to read Pope Francis' letter, Laudate Si, in which he talks about our common home? In it, he calls us to create a world in which there's no walls, without borders, without rejected people, without strangers. That letter can be downloaded from the Vatican website. Maybe it's time that you could bring to fruition that promise you've made to yourself that you're going to read the Bible. Maybe just take a section of the Bible. Maybe take one of the Gospels and read it from beginning to end. Or perhaps there's a particular passage in the Bible that you've been struggling with. Maybe take time to read that and then consult some commentaries online. There's plenty of material available on the Bible or on the Sunday readings. Look especially at our diocesan website. Some people have made time during the pandemic to start a weekly discussion group, meeting online to discuss different topics from the Bible or other religious topics. Perhaps this winter will be a good time to discuss a one book from the Bible or another religious text in an online book club. By focusing on family, faith and friends, in these weeks of preparation, we look forward to what we can do rather than what we can't do. We can really make Christmas 2020 count, as well as opening the door 
to a hope-filled 2021. The pandemic has taken many things away from us, but it can take away our hope. Christ is our hope and Christ is always with us. I would like to thank all those in our diocesan community, our priests, religious and people of the diocese who have lived these moments of pandemic with faith, commitment and a deep care for other people. I thank especially our healthcare personnel and others who work in essential roles for your generous and heroic service to the community. My prayer for each of you this Christmas is one of hope and solidarity, that we might meet Christ in each other and reach out to others with his love, his compassion, his joy and his peace. May you have a blessed Christmas this year. Banat Dean and Ulloch.